All right, welcome back to another video. So I am super, super excited for today's fishing trip or fishing mission, fishing adventure, whatever you want to call it. So I said in one of my last videos that we hadn't gotten a lot of rain and that the trout fishing was all but dead right now, which is still true. But yesterday after work, I went to explore this creek that I'm at currently. And as soon as I got like out of the car, I could hear the creek roaring down in the camp down in this hollow and i came down here and it turns out that there's actually quite a bit of water in this creek i'm sure it's still lower than normal obviously but i don't know if this drainage has gotten more rain than where i currently or where i've done most of my fishing or what the reasoning is behind this having more water maybe spring fed i have no idea i started fishing some of these holes and i ended up catching the biggest brook trout or one of the biggest brook trout i've ever caught personally and i did take a little video for you guys and stuff and i'm going to tell you guys the story of that fish once we get up here to the hole that I caught it out of, because it's a crazy little story. But yeah, basically I came out here and the water levels are great. Water temperatures are freezing. So I'm excited to fish today. I know what's, what is in here because I've already caught a mega giant out of here. So I'm gonna see if I can't replicate that today with you guys, because I only fished it for like two, three hours yesterday. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start fishing. Got one. Feels decent. Oh, stay in the water, buddy. Stay in the water. Not a bad fish for a first fish. Thanks, buddy. Sweet. First good pocket, first fish. I even had a hit before this, too. But before we get too far into the video, this video is actually sponsored by Red's Fly Tying. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that they've sponsored a few videos before. And basically, this is a fly tying company that helps raise money for conservation. So, you can go order your flies, and then when you order your flies, literally in the checkout, there's going to be a little portion that asks what kind of conservation organization you want to donate to. And a percentage of each order, the money made from the order, goes to the conservation of trout or whatever you want to conserve so you can get some flies and donate some money at the same time the flies are awesome i'm going to be using their flies today a lot of the dry flies actually all the dry flies i'm using in today's video are going to be from red's fly tying so go check them out you can get 15 percent off your order with code hfa and that is going to run for seven days after the date this video is posted but if you just want to use code hfa it's going to be 10 percent off all the time so 15% off for seven days after this video is posted, but 10% off all the time. So thanks to Red's Fly Tying for sponsoring the video and let's actually get into the fishing. Jeez, did you see that hit, guys? Nice brook trout, too. Wow, that was incredible. Come here, buddy. What a fish, too. Look at that fish, guys. He's got a little, he's a male brookie for sure. Caught him out of this freaking awesome looking spot. <laughs> go ahead and let him go. See you, buddy. Thanks for playing. That was freaking sick. This is a cool looking hole too, so it makes it even better. Ooh, that's a nice fish. It's a real nice fish. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a real nice fish. I'm falling. I'm still falling. Oh my gosh, I can't stand up apparently. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at the colors on this one too. Gee, many Christmas. Not only is that a big fish, but he's colorful. Look at that fish, guys. That is just an incredible looking fish. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. He's barely hooked. 
Chill out. Look at that fish. He's just incredible. There he goes. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show off this spot. Uh, I saw it yesterday. I didn't fish it yesterday. I fished it today. Didn't catch anything. Not super surprised about that, to be honest. But I just want to like, look how deep this is right here. I mean, I don't know how deep it is. I cannot see the bottom of it. And I'm standing here. I mean, it's gotta be like 15 feet deep or maybe more. Frick if I know, it's incredible. And it's just like, <laughs> it's so deep and so weird that like, I mean, it could be a portal to another dimension. I mean, that's, that's how crazy, I don't even know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but it's just so, it's like so unfathomably deep right there. But I mean, it's just crazy how deep this is. Crazy. Got him. That was so cool. It's a nice fish too. Real nice fish. Oh, he popped. No way, man. Oh. That's what happens when you use these smaller dries sometimes. Oh, man. And I had to put more pressure on because of this stupid big log and everything. <sighs> That's unfortunate. By the way, I'm throwing a little, um, tiny little elk hair caddis. I think it's size 16. It's got like a lime green hot spot on the back of it. I don't exactly remember what this color is called, but it's working pretty well. Ah, that stings. I hate losing fish like that, especially when I have them poked and stuff. If I miss the eat, it's a different story, but oh well. I just hooked a huge fish, guys. Just hooked a huge one. Huge fish. Oh my God, it's gigantic. Do not pop off. Oh my God, it's huge. And he's colored up. Can you please get in the net? Oh, let's go. Oh, there's another big one in here too. Guys, this fish is huge. This hole that I'm at. Oh my gosh, I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. Let me get over here and find a place that I can kill with this fish. So this is the hole that I caught that giant brook trout out of yesterday, which I'll show you some video of right now. But basically this hole, it's a huge hole. And honestly, I think it gets hit like crazy because the fish spook like as soon as you walk up to it. So what I did, or what I did that's different than what most people might do, which is probably why I caught the fish, is this rock here behind me. I actually crawled onto the rock, belly crawled up, and you see there's like waterfalls back there. It kind of comes into a plunge pool there and I was laying on my belly leaning just so I could see with my eyes literally just my eyes were peeking over the edge of the rock and I was dabbing my fly my dry fly in the water and I got to see that enormous brook trout come up and smoke my dry fly which is just amazing I mean he just slowly came up looked at it and then just sucked it in and I thought it looked like the biggest brook trout on earth and then I landed it and it wasn't quite as big as I thought it was but it's still an enormous fish and since it was a male it makes it that much more interesting. But anyway, I thought that was a cool story to tell you guys just because, you know, do things that other people aren't willing to do or fish places that other people, maybe you just can't see from the trail or whatever it may be. But anyway, out of respect for the giant brook trout that I know is laying in this hole because I caught it and released it yesterday, I'm going to sit on the rock and eat lunch or at least eat part of my lunch and then I'm gonna continue on up. Well guys, the first 
brook trout after lunch in this hole. Dandy fish. Pretty fish too. I mean, look at the colors on that one. That's such an amazing looking brook trout. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook them and let them go. That's a nice fish. It's a real nice fish. Stay pegged, baby. Stay pegged. I saw him swim back into the hole to get to, to get to that fly. Heck yeah, man. He's not, he's no, he's nothing crazy, but it's a very healthy brook trout. Thanks, buddy. That's a nice fish. It's a real nice fish. At least for the pocket. Hey there, buddy. Hey, what you doing? Hey, buddy. Well, I went like an hour without catching a fish, and now I'm catching a fish every pocket, literally. That's nothing huge, but that's a nice fish, considering the water he came out of. Thanks, friend. Heck yeah. You lost it? Let's just see what there. Is that him? Oh my God, big one. No! How do I lose that fish there? There's a 0% chance. Oh my gosh, that was a 10 or 11 inch fish. Oh my gosh. Big fish, big fish. That was insane to see that. That was insane. This is a big brook trout too. Oh, I hope you guys could see that the way I could see that. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. Dude, I just barely hooked him. The size of this fish's head is insane. Thanks buddy. I just have to show you guys the size of the head on this fish. I mean, I can see why I thought he was like enormous. Just, I mean, he's long, don't get me wrong, but his head is huge. I mean, look at his mouth. The rows of teeth he's got in there. He is a apex predator in these mountain streams. That is awesome, man. That's so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you like a little tip that I used to catch that fish. So you notice sometimes when I'm fishing, especially if the current is weird and I can't get a very good drift, I'll like wiggle my rod tip. And what that's doing is when I wiggle my rod tip like that, it's popping the fly across the surface. And it's basically giving that fly some life. So if I see that the current is pulling my line and I'm not gonna be able to get a, like a drag free drift, then I'll do that a lot, just pop my fly. Um, because I think it just looks more natural, especially if it's going to be looking weird anyway. You give it some pops, and like right now I'm throwing like a stimulator. So like a stimulator, it's meant to be a big bug. So it'd be natural like if a big bug hits the surface of the water, that it's probably going to be kicking, flailing. Another brook trout just came up and missed that dry. You guys see that? As I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. But like it's natural for like a big bug, to be flailing when it hits the water. So when that happens, it can even trigger the fish to eat. So it's just a little tip that I've 
kind of learned as I've fished for brook trout is just, if you can grab their attention somehow, then you're gonna be doing pretty good. Oh my gosh, nice fish, boys. Real nice fish, boys. Haven't even seen how big it, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, if I don't eat crap coming over here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it's a giant. Let's go, guys, it's another big brook trout. Right in this enormous hole. Look how big this hole is. Oh my gosh. That's probably not even the, that fish is probably four or five years old. I don't even know if he's the only one in here. All right, guys, there he is. You can just tell, like on this fish, you can tell how old he is. He's got like a huge head, colored up fins. That fin right there is just incredible. And what with my pinky on it. Another thing you guys may not know, and I'm not even sure how true this is, the tail on this fish, See how it has like those lines? Those lines are kind of like rings on a tree. And supposedly, you can see how old a fish is by counting the rings or counting the lines on that fish's tail, which means this fish is about four years old, which would make sense based on his size. I don't know if that's true or not though, by the way. So take that with a grain of salt. All right, guys, it's time to release this beast. A beast from the east. Look at him. Wow. I'm gonna swim away or there he goes. And back to the hole he came from. Well, that was another really, really nice fish. I mean, it honestly doesn't get much better. Uh, that one was only like 10 to 11 inches. I didn't measure it again, but. It was just thick, it was an old fish, and you just don't get to catch a brook trout like that, you know, too often. So to be able to catch that fish, and then I caught one bigger one today too, I mean, it's been an unbelievable day. And this was just the back end of the hole. Now I don't know how, you know, I don't know how shallow or deep it is up towards the head, but I could just about guarantee I'm gonna catch another one. But um, I think I'm gonna sit down here and eat another sandwich because it's, oh, 4.30, 4.35. So I'm gonna eat like a snack. I have I brought two sandwiches. I'm gonna eat the second sandwich and relax. Let this hole settle out a little bit, and then I'll fish it out and then keep on going for another couple hours. Oh my god! Whoa! Get off the rocks, there, buddy. Man, he's pretty. Wow. Some of these fish are, you know, trying to get their spawning colors. I mean, that fish is trying his best. He'll be there in not that long, honestly. I mean, he'll be there in, you know, two, three weeks. He'll have his colors properly done. Beautiful fish. Thank you, sir. Oh, buddy. You still on? Wow, that's a nice fish, too. Uh, oh. What's up, buddy? Really awkward spot to be. Man, that's a really nice fish. It's probably eight inches. Look at that. What an unbelievably gorgeous fish. He's fat, too. He's a healthy boy. He's been eating. Chill out.
See you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for playing. Spooked him. Probably game over for the whole hole now. Unfortunately. Or not. It's a nice fish too. Real nice fish. Hey buddy. I thought when I spooked this one back here it was over. Apparently, still a guy in here that wanted to play. Pretty fish. In the Car marking t on these brook trout, and this creek is especially are incredible. Go ahead and pop him off. Oops! All right, there he goes. Oh, oh I thought he went down the hole. I was like, man, sweet guys, sweet. This is a beautiful hole too. Look at this hole, man. All right, so it's kind of coming towards the end of my day. I just lost another really big brook trout, but my camera like died right as the fish ate and my hook set was trash and the fish got off and the last GoPro battery died. It was just a whole crap show. But um, I wanted to quickly go over kind of what my setup is for these brook trout when I'm brook trout fishing because a lot of people have been asking and some of the comments I don't get to and I'm just gonna put it in video. That way you guys know what it is and if you want to check them out you can so for the rod it is a bomber fly rod it is a six foot six inch three weight glass rod and it is perfect absolutely perfect for these brook trout and it's really good for dry fly fishing when i'm brook trout fishing in the summer like this it's about as good of a rod as i could ask for it's got some engravings on it and stuff so it's a custom rod but yeah go check them out uh, just look them up on instagram or wherever look up bomber fly rods it's another really small business a uh, really small company. I think it's only run by one guy. I think one guy makes the rods. His name's Josh. Great guy, by the way. The reel. The reel is a Lampson Liquid. It's just a 3 8 reel. Uh, I have several Lampson Liquid reels, and they're just they're tanks, which is why I have them, and they only cost like 100 bucks. So, pretty good reel for the money, in my opinion. That's why I had two of them. I'd recommend those two, honestly. Pretty much all I've been throwing all day today is just, uh, well, purely dry flies, and I've used a little elk hair caddis. I've used some parachute atoms. And then recently I have used stimulators. All of them were bought at Red's Fly Time. So go check them out. Once again, if you want 15% off, use code HFA for the next seven days. But you can get 10% off all the time with code HFA. So go check them out. Uh, help raise money for conservation and buy some flies. So anyway, I just wanted to go over that. I'm probably gonna fish for like another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna get the heck out of here. All right, so I fished for a little bit longer. Fishing was amazing, but obviously my GoPro's dead and I have no battery, so I wasn't really filming, but caught a bunch more fish. And I'm ready to leave now. And I go out and I realize that the trail is not here. So uh, it's not a huge challenge. I mean, I know how to get out. It's just gonna make it a lot more difficult because there's all these rhododendron and stuff. But that does explain why the fishing was so good is because the trail isn't on the creek here. I don't know, I assume it's just up the hill further but I honestly have no idea because I've never been up this far in the creek. But uh, yeah, kind of low key sucks. So it took a little bit of bushwhacking, but my intuition was correct. And I have found the holy grail of trails, and that is the Forest Service Road. So um, I thought there was one up here, and if I'm correct, I should be able to very easily walk on a hopefully downhill incline to my vehicle. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I caught quite a few very, nice trout caught one giant trout and then i threw in the footage from the giant trout i caught yesterday and honestly for like native appalachian brook trout it really just does not get that much better i'm gonna be honest with you 
and I guess I'm gonna add this to the long list of streams that I'm gonna have to come back and visit here in like a month because you know some of those fish are already starting to get their spawn colors which is pretty incredible considering it's just August they've got at least another month month and a half before they're really gonna start spawning so yeah it's really cool to see glad I could get out here and catch some fish and explore some new water at least for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and I guess I'm gonna get the heck out of here thanks for watching